Good morning, everyone. Uh, today I'd like to give you a bit of an indication of the careers and opportunities in surveying and spatial science at USQ. First of all, I'll give a little bit of background about USQ and uh, its history and some of the profiles that we have at USQ. I'll then move on and talk about some of the careers and opportunities that we have in surveying and spatial science. And I'll explain a little bit about what surveying and spatial science is. USQ is a university that's now been established for about 45 years. Uh, it was established in the 1960s uh, and now we have a population of students around about 25,000. Um, of those, about 5,000 are international students studying all around the world. The university offers a whole range of degrees. Uh, we offer associate degrees, a two-year degree program, three-year degree programs and four-year degree programs at the undergraduate level. We also offer a whole range of postgraduate qualifications as well, graduate certificates, graduate diplomas, master's degrees and also a whole range of research qualifications right up to PhD. All our degree programs are professionally accredited so you can rest assured that what we do is well recognised on a worldwide basis. Now, my area is in the area of surveying and spatial science, so I'm the head of this department. What is surveying and spatial science, you might well ask. Well, surveying and spatial science is an area that encompasses a whole range of, of uh, uh, areas of qualification, including land surveying, uh, geographic information systems, land planning, and uh, really its basis is formed with uh, the areas of mapping and locating objects on the real world. Surveying is the area that most people would recognise and be familiar with. You've all seen surveyors working on engineering construction sites around uh, the various roads as you drive past. You see them in their, their uh, coloured and fluorescent suits. Um, but that's only a small portion of the surveyors that operate uh, within the profession. They use state-of-the-art equipment, including satellite positioning systems that will allow us to position anywhere on the Earth to within a few millimetres. Um, so really it's a high-tech uh, uh, environment now that covers many areas of uh, our economy, including the mining industry, the construction industry, um, land development, land planning, and increasingly all of our areas feed into other sectors of our industry. Another area that we teach and we major in within our uh, department is in the area of geographic information systems. Now, geographic information systems comprise of, in the simplest term, digital maps. And increasingly, we all see those digital maps and we all know about products uh, and areas such as Google Earth um, and uh, Google Maps. They're all developed through surveying and geographic information systems. Let me quickly go through and talk about a few areas. Land surveying is probably the most popular area and is still in very, very high demand. Uh, and our students work all over, all over Australia and indeed all over the world. Mapping is another big area and we all use maps. Uh, like me, uh, many people tend to get lost without one. But mapping is a very important component that underpins uh, many areas of uh, the economy and the world in that we all require maps for locating buildings. We need to know where we are and uh, mapping forms a very, very important part of that, particularly now from the environmental side of things there. Geographic information systems are systems that provide us with a mechanism to provide our maps in a digital form and increasingly geographic information systems are the core systems that are used by governments at the state, federal and local level to provide us with comprehensive mapping of our environment. We all know about Google Earth. Uh, most people uh, have seen that, that immense uh, change uh, now that Google Earth has become available in the last three years. We all can do a search, we can find out where we're going to go on holidays, we can even zoom in and find exactly where our location is and as this slide shows we can see a map of our campus here at USQ. So it's now a ubiquitous uh, technology and system that is used uh, worldwide uh, and at a local basis as well. One area that we also cover is in the area of satellite remote sensing and imagery. 
And this provides us with a mechanism for monitoring the earth and monitoring our environment. And increasingly, that's very important with respect to the areas such as environmental management and climate change. These couple of slides that I'm showing you now are slides that indicate and show uh, the satellite remote sensing of the Indonesian tsunami that occurred about five years ago. And as you can see, the mapping shows before the tsunami hit and after the tsunami hit. And you can see the areas of inundation that have been, um, uh, that have been covered since the tsunami hit the area of Aceh. Very important information and very important for emergency response. Other areas that surveying and GIS are involved in is the area of location-based services. We all got mobile phones now. Increasingly, all mobile phones are location-based and location-linked. So you know where you are, and you can also get a map of where you are, and you can find where the nearest coffee shop is. You can find where your friends are. So location-based service is a huge area and increasingly becoming more and more important. The other side that I mentioned previously was the area of environmental mapping. With a changing environment, we need to understand how things are changing, how our landforms are changing, how our vegetation patterns are changing. Satellite remote sensing and environmental mon monitoring and mapping provide us with that capability. We all use maps for various purposes, and one of the biggest areas still is in the area of tourism. Australia has got a huge tourism industry, as have many other countries. Maps for tourists, for eco-tourism, eco uh, for all types of tourism mapping are provided through the tools in GIS and surveying. So what are the career opportunities that, that you might have within this area? Well, they're, they're quite substantial. There is the areas of surveying and land development, the areas of aerial mapping, because many of our mapping and uh, uh, data collection systems are now collected through aerial mapping systems, location-based services, just as I mentioned, natural resource management. Um, government across all sectors have a huge um, uh, contribution and role within spatial information and surveying. Infrastructure, all of the infrastructure that is now happening across Australia is driven to a large extent by the engineering and surveying components there that map and place and monitor all of that infrastructure that is going into place now. Emergency services, floods, uh, cyclones, emergency response, the maps underpin the planning and the response uh, requirements for these areas there. Agriculture, mapping our agriculture now down at fine level details allow us to put uh, our fertilisers uh, and ensure that our crops uh, and the inputs that we make there are not wasted. Marketing, in businesses, in banking, a whole range of areas there all require maps and the analysis of the customers provide us with, uh, and those industries, with very, very important information. So there's a whole range of employment prospects out there for you. So what's our market like? Well, surveying and GIS has approximately in the past 10 years a 95% or higher employment rate for its graduates. And within USQ, that goes up to about 97%. So getting a job is not a problem. Your skills are recognised worldwide, and that makes uh, the prospect of working across Australia and over the world very, very attractive. So it opens up a whole world of opportunity for you. At USQ, we offer specific undergraduate programs. In particular, we have a two-year associate degree program, a three-year Bachelor of Technology program, and a four-year Bachelor of Spatial Science, which is uh, accredited at a professional level. All of these uh, uh, different degrees have majors in surveying and also in GIS. We also offer postgraduate qualifications in surveying and GIS and spatial science at the certificate, diploma and master's level, and of course, PhD and research programs. The option is yours if you want to study on campus or off campus. USQ offers both of those opportunities. So it enables you to either stay at home and work or come on campus and experience the campus life. USQ degrees in engineering and surveying are recognised worldwide. Our courses are accredited at the highest standard by both state and, of course, national bodies. And increasingly, we have 
uh, agreements with international organisations overseas to recognise our qualifications. Our demands for students is high and graduate satisfaction is very high. So in summary, a career in spatial science can be a very exciting and rewarding career. Our industry impacts on all sectors of the Australian and increasingly the worldwide economy. Trained graduates are required across all sectors of our economy and in a whole range of diverse areas. So in summary, a degree at USQ opens up your world. So how do you apply? Simply go to our website www.usq.edu.au, click on future students and follow the links. Thank you.